Hey everybody, welcome to Embrace These Curves. I am back with another video. Before we get started, I want to give God praise and glory for waking us up this morning and giving us another day on this earth to, to fulfill a purpose that he put within us. If you are a new subscriber, welcome to the channel. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button down below before the end of the video. If you have been with me before, hey, how you doing? Now in today's video, I will be showing you guys my first attempt on doing the two braided ponytail style, which I have here. Yes. Now, yes, so this is what you guys will be seeing in the video. If you enjoy the video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel like what you doing sis if you ain't subscribing to the channel all right so anyways let's just jump right into the video all right you guys so get to get started with this side i went ahead and parted my hair in a desired way i wanted it to be part and then i will be going in with my spray bottle um spraying my hair so it can be easier to manage so now I'm going to take my easy detangler brush and detangle this section after detangling this section I will be going in with curl enhancer smoothie to add moisture to my hair and I'll be twisting that section out of the way and moving on to the next section and doing the exact same steps all over Detangling, going in with the curl enhancer smoothie. Working the product all the way through my hair. Now I'm going to detangle the whole section as a whole and get ready to put it up in a ponytail. So the gel that I will be using to secure this ponytail is Ampro Pro Style. The black gel, this, this gel is one of my staple products when it comes to laying down my hair because it works so perfect for my hair and it gets everything laid and sleek. So here I am brush, brushing everything into place and going in with a ponytail holder and putting the, my hair into a ponytail. After placing it into a ponytail, I will go ahead and put it in a jumbo twist and secure the end of the secure the end of my twist using a rubber band. So I went ahead and did the same steps all over to the next section off camera, and here I am just going in, twisting it into a big twist. And again, securing the end with a rubber band. After securing the section, I am going in to lay these edges down. No hairstyle is done without laying your edges. If you have some, I barely have any, but I work with what I got. Alright, edges is down and sleeked. I'm going in with the Got To Be Glued Hair Free Spray to make sure everything is staying in place. So now I'm going to twist my jumbo twist all around into a knot on top of my head. And I will be securing it with my silk satin edge scarf to make sure everything is laid down perfectly. So the hair that I will be using for this style is the African American Expression hair. I'm going to go ahead and cut it in half and I will be working with one section. Here I am with this section of hair and I am um, just stretching the hair. In order for me to stretch the hair, I just pull strands from each side of the hair and to give it a not so blunt cut. So here I'm just pulling the strands of hair all the way down until I have the look that I'm looking for, basically. Alright, so now I am using the rubber band that came on the hair. And I'm going to loop that onto my onto the onto my own hair ponytail. 
after securing it on there I will go in with a braid section it into three sections so I can give it a big jumbo braid and you don't want to make the braid too tight because it has to be able to fit over the knot so here I am just braiding the braid all the way down Okay, so after braiding the hair completely down, I will secure the end also with a rubber, a rubber band. After it is secured, I will flip the hair over the my hair knot and make sure my knot is not showing. And if your knot is showing, you can also use pins to secure the braid into place so that it doesn't move. Okay, so once that is secured, I will be going in with a foam mousse. I will be using a lot of body to lay the flyaways on the braid down. After laying all the flyaways down, I will be going in with the gold string hair accessory and just twisting it from the top to the bottom of the braid to give it a more finished look. Alright, and then I will just tie that into place, putting it in a knot in the back of the braid so it doesn't show. So this side is done. Okay, and I will be going ahead and doing the same thing for the other side, going in with the hair and stretching it to get rid of the blunt cut. You can either stretch your own hair or you can also purchase the hair already stretched. I prefer to purchase the hair um, with a blunt cut and then stretch it myself. Going in with a, with a bow and securing it onto my knot. Doing the same thing, just braiding the hair. All right, and then you want to go ahead and flip it over your knot. Make sure your knot is not showing. Again, you can always secure it with bobby pins. Going in again with the foam mousse to um, lay the flyaways down. Alright, so now that both braids are done, I am going in with another hair accessory, the bead, and placing it at the end of the braid where the rubber band is. And this is the final look, you guys. So this is my attempt on the two braided ponytail style. And there you have it. You gotta turn around. Alright you guys, so that is the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. You also can comment down below. 
on any suggestions, tips, or any other hairstyles that I should try, any protective, easy hairstyles that I should try, comment them down below and I will surely try those hairstyles. You know, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to share, and subscribe. Subscribe to the channel so you can see more hair. <laughs> But for real, subscribe to the channel. Like, I'm not playing. Subscribe. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for coming to see me. Continue to have a blessed day. And I will see you guys on my next video.